Oh, hello, Doc. You're welcome. How is it treating? So how was the village? Fine. Um, it's been raining rather heavily, but uh, well, everybody's all right. Um, did anybody ask me? Yes, um, it was only Frederick. Fred, a good old friend. Um, what did he say? Nothing. He only just came to check you. Is he all right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what did you buy for me? All right. Martin, give me that briefcase. You know, Chuma, I don't forget such things. As long as you continue to be my favorite. Did you tell him to my story seriously, Dad? Uh, yes, I did. This is for you. Thank you. This is for you. And um, I didn't leave you out. <laughs> wow. Very thanks. Thank you. Good. Now I'll do this upstairs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I said, um, look, it's all right. Auntie Grace asked up to you. And um, as a matter of fact, I discussed with her, with her and um, we agreed you should come over here and stay with us. Nicholas. Yeah? You mean you are bringing Wilfred to come and live in this house? That's right. What's wrong with that? so strange. Listen, Hazel. Look, can't you understand? This is a very simple thing. My sister Grace has done her best. She's been staying with this boy since the mother died, and he's a grown-up now. It's now our turn to take care of him. Aren't you taking care of him? Uh-huh. So why can't he stay there? Wilfred is my son. And you better start looking at him as your own son, too. We need him now, here. Especially as he's preparing for his physical examination, so he can have access to all the facilities. Look, Hazel, this is his home. Listen to me, and listen real good. I don't need any such child in this home to give me problems. Oh, my God. Any such child? Yes. My own son, you must be out of your mind. What kind of problem are you talking about? You mean you don't know the problems I'm talking about? You know the problems I'm talking about. Don't speak to me.
Chairman. Yes. Find that piece of the door. is trying to cause a very big problem in this family. What problem? There is something you don't understand. Wilfred's presence in this home is dangerous. How do you mean, Mom? Well, he's my brother. Your brother. Listen to yourself. Look, Martin. Wilfred is your dad's first son from his first wife. And, Martin, I'm doing all this for you. If we allow him, you will inherit the majority of your father's property. In case anything happens tomorrow. Can't you see what I'm saying? Did you understand? Shopping plaza. Okay. Right, it's terribly hot in here. You put on the air conditioner, please. All right. <laughs> That's better. Well, look, we still have the lights. Mm. Wow! You got these fine materials for me? Yeah, no, well, actually, I bought it for Wilfred. I, I want you to start looking good. Yeah. Nicholas. You got all these fine materials for Wilfred? Yes, what's wrong with that? And you got nothing for me and the kids? Oh, come on. Listen, listen. I don't like the way you're reacting. You know that Wilfred has no clothes, right? So what's wrong in making him look a member of this family? Listen, Nicholas. Yes. 
You just said you don't like the way I'm wearing it. Yeah, I don't. Very soon you will like it. Hazel! Hazel, come back here. Who said you never know with women? I should sleep here and open the door for Martin and whenever he returns for Martin. Where has he gone to? I don't know. Go and sleep. Get up, go and sleep. Good night, night. Martin, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Come inside. I said, come inside.
Take a look at the time and see when you're coming back into this house. All right. Where are you coming from? Didn't you hear me? I said, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I attended a friend's birthday party now. Good. You attended a friend's birthday party. I see that you're determined to be a very useless son. Nicholas. Here's the come down. This what is it? Take a look at the time. Look at when your son is coming back into this house. And do what? Is that why you want to kill him? For goodness sake, it's very late. Can't he enjoy with his peers? Yeah, good. Enjoy with his peers. That's what you call it. Enjoy with his peers. Whoever gave you that silly idea? Silly idea? Yes. Hazel, come back here. Hazel, come back here! Something I don't understand about the assignment. What is it? It's task number two, the um, etiology of Amibic dysentery. Uh, you want the answer? You know the answer per se. My problem is that word, etiology. And nobody seems to know what it means. <laughs> okay. It simply means the causes. So all you have to do is itemize the causes of Amibic dysentery. And you have your answer. Just break it down. Like it's as simple as that. Please, thank you very much. All right. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 Um, 
Mom, you know something? Mm -hmm. Wilfred has started dating girls in school. Wilfred? What? Dating girls? I saw him discussing with this particular girl in school today. Martin, are you sure of what you're saying? You shut up your mouth. Don't you think they were just having a friendly Look, discussion? Look, Shoma, watch your tongue. How will I say it now? Mommy is lying. Stop. Wait, Fred! Wait, Wait, Fred! Mama! Come on! Come here! Where are you? Here! What did I hear about? What did I hear about? That you just started chasing girls up and down. Who's that? So that's a lie. You, 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 you think I didn't see you today while you were discussing with that girl in school? I, I was not chasing any girl. She was just asking me questions. Shut up! You liar! Stupid thing! Come on, get out of here! Listen, if I ever, ever catch you teaching my children bad manners, get out! Out! Use that thing. Pick up the broom and I'll do that stuff It's yours. Why do you know you chase girls around? Use that thing. Let us stop now. Fred! What? What are you doing there? I asked you to mow the lawn, and you have the guts to come here and sit? I, I have finished. You have finished what? No. You have done what? You have... Come on! Yeah. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here. Look at those stones. For God's sake, what is going on here? This boy has started growing wings. He no longer does anything I ask him to do in the house. All he does is sit around. What is it? Yes. Dad, I washed the toilet, washed my mother's clothes, cook. And now she asked me to mow the lawn, and that's what I was doing. Where's the toilet? Shut up your mouth! This boy again. <laughs> what are Chairman Martin doing? Go on. Protect him. He's your son. Your useless son. All he knows how to do is to chase girls around. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> Come. Listen. Don't let whatever your stepmother does. Hurt you. I, I, I'm taking all this. You. I'm taking all this because of you. I know. I know. Listen. I want you to realize that not all women behave like this. Right? This is your father's house. And she insists on treating you like this. That shows she has a very, very poor background. But no matter what she does, don't hate her. Right? Don't hate her. Don't ever return evil for evil. Remember what our Lord said on the cross? Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Forgive her. She does not know what she is doing. One day, someday, she must pay for this. Because whatever you sow, you must reap. Now listen. I want you, Wilfred, to grow up into a very, very strong, independent, dependable and reliable young man. Right? You must give me your word that you will never, ever disappoint me. I won't Give disappoint you, Dad. I won't disappoint you. It's all right. Come on. Okay. Go for the next
to release some kind of the Shoma, let's go now. Hmm. You're both ready. Seth, I don't know about Shoma. Okay. Oh, that's too small now. Okay, 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 okay. Take this for your taxi, eh? Make sure you come back on time. Is it? How dare you ask? Wilfred, not to join his brother and sister for their evil mercy. Why? Yes, I said Wilfred can go. And I will save him. Who do you expect to clean the toilet and the kitchen? Who do you expect to scrub it? Who? Nicole, do you expect me to do that? Can that wait till Saturday? If he does not clean it today, then I will leave both of you in this house. You must be out of your senses. Me? Out of my senses? Out of my senses? Nonsense. Mom, stop talking to Dad like that. Let your friend come with us. Shut up your mouth. What do you know about that? And you, Nicholas, go on protecting me. Protect him. Give your phone. What is happening? Yeah. I heard so much noise outside. Is it? Is it? Can you imagine that? Asking Martin and Choma to go for lessons while Wilfred stays with her in the kitchen. Ah, no. Ah, ah, why? Why the discrimination? Uh, Wilfred is your son. I can't understand this nonsense. Fred, you know me. If I touch this woman, I'm going to kill her. Oh, no, Nicholas, don't touch her. Some women are terrible. Go on. Go on. You. Do you belong to this house? Do you belong to this house? What is your concern in this issue? What is your concern? Stupid man. Nonsense. Rubbish. Nicholas! Listen real good. If Wilfred does not scrub the toilet, wash the kitchen clean, nobody, I mean nobody will eat in this house. Nonsense. Rubbish. I'm sorry for this woman. <sighs> Nicholas, may God help you. Well, you've seen it. Sometimes I ask myself why God had to inflict this woman on me. This is what I have to put up with every day of my life. I'm sorry for her behavior. It's I'm okay. Sorry. It's okay. Wilfred! Yes, ma'am. Put on your clothes or I'll go to school. Hmm. Oh, yes. This is too bad. Will I cry? How much longer will these tears roll down my eyes? No one to turn to, nowhere to go. Why you always make me cry? I just don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Why do you always make me cry?
Wilfred. Wilfred! Mom? Go and serve Martin and his dear food. But well, mommy, you just asked me to go and press the clothes and that's what I'm trying to do. Are you crazy? How dare you question my instructions? Well, let me help you press the clothes. Where are the clothes? Come on! Drop them! And sit down. Now, go and serve Martin and his guest food. Wilfred! Ma? Whom did you drop this clothes? You just said I should go and, and, and serve Martin and... Man. I don't understand the trick you are trying to play here. I, I lost my money, sir. You lost your money? If you know you don't have money with you, why did you just walk out of this place? Please, sir. Please, sir. My, my stepmother will kill me. Your stepmother? What have I got to do with that? Go out or I've got security for you now. Please help me, sir. Please, please, sir. You must be a dreamer if you want me to leave those things for you. Just get out now. Go out!
What were you doing there? It's your master, we're friends. Me, what? No. I lost the money my stepmother gave me to buy beverages from the supermarket. So is that why you were standing there? Standing there wouldn't help you. Don't kill me if I get home, sir. Okay, how much is it worth? 700. Ah, oh, come on, 700 naira. Is that why you should kill yourself? That's okay, huh? All right. Um... That's one thousand naira. It's only seven hundred, sir. I'll keep the change. And, uh, use it to take care of your problems. Huh? Thank, thank you, sir. For next time, make sure you're more careful. Okay, yes, sir. That's all right. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. This boy has been stealing my money. No wonder. Wilfred! Wilfred! Huh? Why are you keep? You have been stealing my money. Which money? Who I didn't steal any money? How did this money get into your bag? I didn't steal it. It was the money of Fred gave me the day I lost the money. Give me the Don't run that stupid explanation. Give me. Uncle Fred, I gave me money today. I lost the money she, she sent me with to the supermarket. 
It's a lie. Did you explain it to her? I did. Shut up your mouth! You did what? You did what? You did. Shut, Shut up! up. mistake I made in my life was marrying Hazel. That woman has become a thorn in the flesh to me, a rainy day to me. Look at me, Fred. I can't even go home at the close of work. Sometimes I wonder why death was so unkind to me. If my wife Susan hadn't died, I wouldn't have been married to this demon. And all this nonsense wouldn't have been happening. Be more specific. Huh? Look at me, friend. I mean, look at that innocent boy. Hazel wants to kill this boy for no just cause. Anyway, Fred, I've decided to send that boy back to the village. No, I no. I, I think it's better for him to be alive in the village than stay here and be killed by Hazel. Uh, come on, Nicholas. Don't think of that. Huh? Look, Nicholas, everything will be all right. Just commit it to God. I believe that someday Hazel will come back to her senses. Come back to what? Hazel? Look, Fred, you don't even understand this woman. Listen, yesterday she nearly killed this boy because of the money you gave him. What? The money I gave him today, he lost some money? Yes. Why? She accused him of stealing her money. Oh, that is <sighs> Nicholas. The only thing that will solve this problem is prayers. You know that our religion does not encourage divorce. So, uh, you have to provide. Uh, I believe Hazel would change. Last for Wilfred, uh, don't make the mistake of sending him home. Certainly, not at this stage of his life. Yeah. 
down to me. A man had breakfast, no lunch, and the rooms were dinner. Oh my God. Oh, hello, darling. Are you back? What is it, Nicole? Hello? Hello? Yes? Nicholas Igwenwachuku's residence? Yes? Yes, I'm his wife. Accident? Where? How? When? Oh my God. Nicholas, huh? Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Um, we we called your wife, and she will be here soon. I don't want to see her. You don't want to see her? Okay, no problem, no problem. Just relax, eh? See you. Cool. 
us. How oh, did it happen? Sorry, Frederick. What? He is dead. No. You have no. To, you have to no, be here. No, no, what is happening? No, 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 no. Wait. Where is she? She's the wife. You see, madam, you have to take it easy. We tried our best. Please. You okay? In your father's house? This is embarrassing. This is even small compared to some other things. Anyway, I just had to come and ask you why you've not been coming to school for the past three months. You, you can't understand. My stepmother has virtually stopped me from coming to school since my father died. That's too bad. But why? Okay. Yes. Who was this good for me? Uh, uh, okay, keep it there. I'll, I'll watch it when I finish with my guest. What? Finish what? I, I, I have a guest. Okay. I think I'm going to wash my clothes now. Matthew, why don't you allow him to finish what he's doing? Don't what is he doing? He has to wash my clothes now. Okay. Give them to me. Let me wash them. Don't you mind your own business? What's wrong with you? Are your hands broken? Go and wash them yourself. This is not fair. Good what is it? 
Good evening. But what does it matter? Ma, ma, I told, I told Wilfred to go and wash my clothes, and he bluntly said no. Mommy, it's a lie. I, I told him that I, I would wash it when I, I finish with my friends. I beg your pardon. Come on, go and wash the clothes immediately. Good evening. Good evening. And you, Mr. Fred, I want you to stop visiting this house. Did you hear me? I don't like little boys like you sneaking behind me. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. We were. You took patient to the fault. How can they be doing all this to you? Treating like a slave in your own house? In short, they are very lucky. If I were in your shoes, they would have had it very rough. Imagine how small matters. What do you want me to do? Ken, who do I complain to? My mother is dead. Father has just died too. Who do I complain to? Who do I tell my problems? They do everything they want to me. They do. Wilfred! Ma. Are you still here? What are you still doing here? I. I said, what are you still doing here? And you? What are you still doing in this house? Did you hear me? What are you still doing in this house? Now. Let me speak! Don't push me again, madam. If you push me again, I'll kill you. Wicked woman. You think I'm Wilfred? Wilfred! 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 He told me that if we continue to allow Wilfred to live, that he will kill both of us and inherit your father's property. Kill two of us? No wonder. Mom has been behaving strangely of late. Poison. All we just need to do is put it in his food. If he eats it, after two or three days, he will die. No one will suspect us. Where are you going? I'm going to the market. 
by this time. Why didn't you go to school? But it's you I'm talking to, Wilfred. Oh, Wilfred. Since my father died, you know, my stepmother has refused to allow me to go to school. I tried to talk to her, but she wouldn't listen to me. Oh my God. But why didn't you tell me all this why? She, she wouldn't even allow me out of the house. It's either I'm doing this or, or doing that. Okay. Don't worry. Um, you have to leave that place. I'll make sure I take care of you and your education to any extent you want. Thank you, sir. No, Thank you, sir. don't bow to me. I'm not God. I'll go to your village to get Auntie Grace. She'll come and pick you. Yes, sir. So if you get home, begin to tidy up your things, okay? Thank you, sir. That's all right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye, sir. Bye. Bye, -bye sir. I never knew she could commit such atrocities. But then, one thing I believe in is that destiny can never be changed. Yeah, that's exactly what I told Wilfred. <laughs> you see, um, one day of happiness can change many years of sorrow. Yes. <laughs> oh, please come, let, let, let me show you off this. You try. somebody, even at the point of death. And today, 
though he is dead, I know that his spirit will be happy where he is, you know, to see you fulfill these dreams. A first class graduate of petrochemical engineering with a good position in a reputable oil company. Thank you, sir. And I still don't know how to thank you for all the encouragement you gave me during my stay with you. Uh, and God will bless you, sir. Oh, good friend. You see, my happiness today is that you appreciated everything I did for you. Now the youths of today are a bundle of ingots. Look, by this singular gesture, I know you will go places. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so sorry. What do I have for this? Oh, come on, that's all right. I should do on my way now. I have something. No, it's okay, my friend, you know. I'm happy. Just keep it up, okay? Well, thank you, sir. That's You'll all right. You'll call again, won't you? Oh, I will. Trust me. Well, I'd love to. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Look, young men, if you are here to dupe me, <laughs> it won't work. This house belongs to me. <laughs> I inherited it from my late husband. Besides, the matin that you are asking for traveled to Abuja for the past one month. So what are you here for? <laughs> Madam, it may interest you to know that I was with him last week. Even yesterday night, we are together at Sheraton Hotel. And in case you don't know, he has sold this house to me. Which house? <laughs> Look, young man, I just told you that this house belongs to my late husband. I have not sold it to anybody, and I don't desire to sell it to anybody. Do you Nonsense. Did you get it? I said nonsense. I said, did you get I it? Said nonsense. I said, did you get it? It's Martin, not the first one I've met with the And so what? Anyway, I don't think I have time for all this rubbish. Here is my lawyer, Mr. Davidson. He has the rest of the things to tell you. So, madam, you have been given one week to pack out of here. This false indication by the police. What? And for your information, everything in this house belongs to my client. You must be joking. So don't remove any pin from here except your personal effects. And uh, you are a big joker. These are the deeds and documents, and they've been duly signed. Goodbye. <laughs>
What kind of son has this boy turned out to become? He has brought me to ruins. Sold all my late husband's cars. Sold his house. Sold almost everything. Messed up the whole business. And now, look. Look at the shame and disgrace he has brought me to. In spite of all that I have done for him. Martin. Why? Why, Martin? Why did he choose to do this to me? Why, 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 Martin, why? Why, Martin? Why? Why? Life. For the past three days, Chuck. He's not at home. Honey, I have told you to stop worrying about Martin. He's not worth all the trouble. Eh? You see what it's doing to you. Stop worrying about him. Have you eaten at all today? No. I don't want to eat him. Okay. Mm, take it easy. Hey, hey, mommy, uh, guess who I saw today? Huh? I saw Wilfred around the junction. <laughs> he is now an engineer and works in a big oil company as a senior staff and lives in a very decent and well furnished apartment. And so what? Why are you telling me all this? Shema, you started visiting me. You must stop at once. But, Mommy, he is my brother. I've told you, Chioma. You must stop seeing him, okay? Treatment. Huh? 
Mr. Po. Okay. We have to be better. Martin, Martin. The real bad song. Say it now, man. Say it now. You guys are. I just go back from work. I'm always lucky. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what are you doing with yourself now? Do you want to work or you want to go back to school? Real friend. I'm not thinking about going back to school. But we can't afford it now. We don't have any money. Martin really wrecked the family. He sold off everything. Mommy and I are even managing to feed. It's so difficult. It's okay. You make all the necessary arrangements. I'll support you financially. Oh, right. yeah. oh thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. You're my sister. Thank Come on. You. Hey. Hold you it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I know you like rice. Okay? I'll get you rice. Come on. Okay? I'll be back. Where is Martin? Is he back? Oh, mommy, I've not seen him more. But don't bother about him, don't let him worry. Hey. Should I get you some food? Mm -hmm. for the past one week. It's none of your business. Does it concern you? Look at you. You are a very useless son. You think you're cheating me? You are cheating your son. Look at how you've messed yourself up while your mates are busy making it. Look at your friend. Wilfred is now very rich and lives in his old home. All you do is drink and mess yourself around. Martin, look at yourself. Look at yourself. You are calling me a useless <gasps> son? Yes, you are a useless son. You are the useless mother. Martin! You think you are smart. You are the cause of my problems. Imagine you giving an example with Wilfred. The same boy you wanted to kill. Shut up your mouth! Shut, shut up! up. <laughs> you killed our dad, and now you want to kill me? Shut up! Ah! No, 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 no. You must be crazy. You slapped me. Yes, I slapped you. What? You slapped me. Yes, I slapped you, man. Oh, my God. 
from the result of the x-ray that you sustained a head injury during the incident mm. and it affected the cerebral part of your brain mm. so we have to move into the theater within the next 48 hours for an emergency surgical operation mm. though um, it depends on how soon you pay the deposit of 50,000 naira oh. 50,000 naira that's it Excuse me. How much is involved? 50,000. 50,000 naira! Thank <laughs> you. 
she does. Don't hate her. Right? Don't hate her. Don't ever return evil for evil. Remember what our Lord said on the cross? Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Forgive her. She does not know what she is doing. One day, someday, she must pay for this. Because whatever you sow, you must reap. <laughs>
you have forgiven me, Wilfred. If I haven't forgiven you, I wouldn't be here. Oh. Please, I would like to hear you say it. Say it, please. I swear I have. This is your brother. Live well with him. We live to each other like brothers and sisters. Tell Martin. So please try and forgive me. I was the cause of all his problems. Oh, oh, no. It's okay, it's okay. Please, Juma, try to forgive me. Martin is your brother. Tell him too that I have forgiven him. Will you tell this for me? Why are you saying all these things now? The money is here now. It's all right now. You're going to go for your operation. You'll be okay. fine. Okay. Mommy. Mommy. No, no, mommy. Wait, wait. Mommy, Doctor! wait. Doctor! 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 Mommy, wait. Wait, wait. Mommy, wait. Mommy, wait. No. Excuse me. One, two. 